here we're given the graph of a piecewise defined function. We want to now write a definition for this function from the graph. So when we're writing the definition, we have to come up with two things. We need for each piece, which we can see from the, the graph, there's two clearly defined pieces. For each piece, you need to find the boundaries and the equation. So I need my left piece and my right piece. Again, we want to really start thinking left to right when we're looking at graphs of functions. OK, so I'll look at my left piece first. So the equation here, we can see that this is linear. So if we want to find the equation of a line, so we know that our equation will be in the form y equals mx plus b. So we need to find the slope, m, and the y-intercept, b. So if we look at this line, we can find our slope by counting our rise over run going from this point negative 1, negative 1 to the point 0, 0. So if I'm moving left to right, I would have to rise 1 and run 1. So that means this line has a slope of 1. So we know our slope is 1. And we can see clearly that our y-intercept is 0. So we know our b is 0. So then the equation of this line, of this piece, is going to be y equals x. So this is linear. You might want to make a note that. OK. Now we want the boundaries of this point, of this piece. So this piece starts when the x value is at negative 1, and then it ends when the x value is 0. So our domain of this piece, or the boundaries, are going to be negative 1, negative 1, and 0, 0. So the domain of this piece is bracket negative 1, comma 0, bracket, because we're including those two boundaries. OK, so now in our right piece, we need to find the equation of this piece, and then we need to find the boundaries. So this is also linear, but we can see that it's horizontal. So it's a constant function. So we know this is going to be constant. So we know that's a horizontal line. So we know the equation of a horizontal line is just y equal to a constant. And the y value here, every point on this piece, is 1. So our equation here is just y equals 1. Now the boundaries of this piece, again, we always look left to right. The left boundary is the point 0, 1, and the right boundary is the point 2, 1. So we've got our boundaries of 0, 1, and 2, 1. So then our domain of this piece would be from 0, but remember we don't include 0. We'll put parenthes a parenthesis on this 0 because there's an open circle here. We're not including that boundary. So it'll be parentheses 0, comma, and then 2 at the other boundary, and we do include that with a bracket because it's a filled in circle here. So now we just need to combine these two equations, y equals x and y equals 1, and use the boundaries, put them together, the two pieces, to make the equation of the function. So the notation we use, if you remember, it's the brace, squiggly bracket, brace. So we always want to go left to right, so our left piece, then our right piece. So the equation of our left piece was y equals x, or f of x equal to x. And now we need to say the boundaries of that piece. So that's from negative 1 to 0. And we use inequality notation here. So this would be if negative 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0. And then our right piece, the equation is y equals 1. So we'll have here f of x equals 1. And that's if, now we look at our boundaries. So we want to go from 0 to 2, not including 0. So as an inequality, we'll have 0 less than x, less than or equal to 2. So here is the equation of our piecewise defined function.